Okay, so we're in the garage and just gonna go desolder some parts. Or just solder a lot of parts. And it's my setup right here. Yeah. And let's get to it. So got some some boards right here. I'm just gonna desolder off of these. Um yeah, so I'm gonna put them in the toaster oven to get all the surface mount stuff off. But first I gotta get all the through hole components. Mmm let's see. This one here's a good one to show. Let's see yeah. Maybe not. Uh, yeah, one second. A little small. This one's good. I'll do this one. I actually desoldered some parts off of this already. That means I desolder all of them. Okay. I think that's in right. This is my grounding. Wait, so I'm just gonna use make sure these are some good ones. Just make sure you ground them and everything.
time, so I'm just gonna go straight for the oven. And maybe after just take these off. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. So I was actually thinking maybe I should Maybe I should turn it around. Turn it turn upside down so they fall, but it's not going to fall. Plus, I need to lift them up a little. I can lift them up actually. Come on, what? I'm just gonna ground this. Not sure. This should be grounded. I'll just, just in case. Let me clip this on. Somewhere. Yeah, oh, we'll leave it like that. Turn this back on. And Okay, I'm just gonna turn it off and then when it gets closer I'll put it. Okay, so I'm actually smelling some stuff burning. Um, it's probably the plastic on like the uh, capacitors, the electrolytic capacitors. Um, I don't see anything burning though, so that's a good sign.
put this back in. Yep, so that's what I got. Yeah, pretty nice and solder, desolder. So pretty thin pins. Uh, this one's a pretty cool one. Yeah, not bad. That doesn't look great though. I mean, there's a lot of solder smeared onto the packaging. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna ground all the pins. Um, this looks pretty good. Might stick this back in. And have the, uh, the solder flow onto the pins more so they don't interconnect. But yeah, it looks pretty good. Not too bad. for the next batch. See if we can get this in. Looks pretty good. Yeah. Sounds like something's popping. Or maybe you like falling off. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. Still no 
on the back is like has a way higher melting temp than the front but I don't know I'll, uh, I'll just show you the end product okay so I noticed that there's a um, right here see these it's like some epoxy spots and the solder would actually melt but these epoxy spots wouldn't so it seems like the solder didn't melt and I'd stick it in there for like a long time in really hot temperatures and still wouldn't you know and I think I ruined the chips and yeah so I'm probably just gonna discard them but I'm pretty sure it's because it's on the back side so when I put it through the like reflow oven or whatever um, it won't fall off before, so, yeah, but this sort of sucks. Yeah, you can see them. Uh, you just have to use, like, quite a lot of force just to, you just twist them, and then they snap off. I'll show you. Here's one. The back, you can see that one round spot. See another one. Um, this one too. You can see that round spot? Three round spots actually. So, yeah, those things are probably toast because I hit them with the uh, with the heat gun uh, like for like a full minute and yeah. So, so I just put that in there, and I'm just gonna keep on doing this. Okay. Okay. Um. So you can see. Let's see how well. You can probably see it better now. Um. That's a lot of 
you know, solder smears. So, I'm going to try to get that off. I'm just going to stick it back in the toaster oven, take it out, and then swipe all that, a lot of like the big blodges off, and then put it back in there, and see how well that does. You know, it should just form onto the pads, but then you'll get like really small blodges of like little streaks of it, you know, and that's not going to flow into the pad, so, but you know, it, sh it shouldn't like short out any of the little pads, so yeah, I'll go do that. Okay, so you see now that it's a little, well, it's actually like a lot better, and let's see. Um, yeah. Let's see if you can get that a little better. I don't know. Um, yeah, well. Looks pretty good. Um, the edges are a little rough. But, you know, it's, it's pretty good. What I could do is put a little bit more solder on there. Put some solder paste on there. It's a real thin layer, and then that reflow. But, I mean, it's a little risky. So, yeah. Um, I'll probably just leave it like that. And just bag it up. And then when, if I actually use it, I'll, you know. But yeah, it should be should be pretty good. Yeah, I mean, it's like all the chips I got. Actually, pretty much all the components I got. I guess it's a it's a pretty good yield. Uh, you know, I might I might try to. I mean, I don't even know if these things work though. I mean, it's sort of hard to test them without like making a PCB for them, and then soldering them on and seeing them, so. Yeah, I mean, I, I tested that voltage regulator right here. So, um, I mean, that's still sort of hard to test. It's like five pins on there. Yeah, I mean, all that transistors work, so that's good. Yeah. Uh, well... I think I might try to clean these up a little. And, yeah. Or I might actually just put them. I might just put them in the, this little bin right here. And then, you know, on the weekend I might just clean them up. So, yeah.